Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Draft Champions video. Today guys, what we're going to be doing is ripping through the draft real quick. I'll tell you guys kind of what I was thinking, and then uh, I'll give you my uh, updated team here. And then we'll go through a couple of games as well. So very first pick, we are going to have the opportunity to either shore up the left tackle position, the tight end, but I do decide to go with Khalil Mack. I just think he's one of the best overall linebackers in this game. Great pass rusher, a lot of speed, so he can play against the run as well. So he's pretty good there. Second pick, this one was pretty difficult for me, but I decided to go with Jordan Cameron. I do like to throw to my tight ends quite a bit. I'm kind of a tight end spamming whore, I guess. Uh, but then uh, we decided to go with a left tackle there. With the Jordan Cameron pick, I like Jordan Cameron because of his speed. I think that's kind of my favorite thing about him. And then we are going to go here with Indomitian Sue, and you'll see him show up a couple of times here in these games. So I hope you guys will really enjoy that. I, I'm a big fan of Indomitian Sue in this game. Probably the best base elite defensive tackle that I can think of. Here we're, we had the opportunity to get DeAndre Hopkins here or a center, but I am going to go with Phillip Rivers just because I've kind of found that if you throw away quarterbacks in this, in the draft champions, sometimes they never come back. So I want to get somebody that's at least somewhat decent. So we do, do decide to go with Phillip Rivers there. Then we are going to grab Greg Hardy here at right end. So we've got another pass rusher there to go along with Dominican Sue on the defensive line and also Khalil Mack when he pass rushes as well. So we're looking pretty good there on the pass rush end of things. We're going to take Deshaun Gibson here. Decent safety there. And then we've got an opportunity here for Cam Newton. But, you know, I already got Phillip Rivers. I'm not much of a scrambler with my quarterback anyway. So we're going to take Sebastian Vollmer there. Try and make our offensive line just a little bit stronger if we can. Here, this one, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. So I decided to go with Derek Morgan just because I know that I need to have some linebacker help. And I know Morgan's kind of more of a guy that almost plays defensive line than he does actually linebacker in the real NFL. But for my team, he's going to have to play linebacker. It's just going to have to be the way that it is. Right here, we've got an opportunity here to grab Arian Foster, but he's a little bit too slow for me. And we've got also Glover Quinn there at 85 overall. But I thought Marcel Darius and Tom Kong Su together up the middle. We are going to get some serious pressure up the middle. And that's kind of what I wanted to do here. We do not want people running on us. And we also want to make sure that we're getting plenty of pressure on the opposing quarterback. Here we've got Jonathan Joseph as our number one cornerback. Kind of a good gold budget card for Madden Ultimate Team players is Jonathan Joseph. He's not real expensive. He's decent enough anyway. Here we are going to take Dante Moncrief because we had not gotten wide receiver yet. And look at this. Look what comes up. We have an opportunity for flashback Mike Vick. Camp Chancellor wasn't really in consideration here. It was either between Vick or Calvin Johnson. Vic, though, man. I really wanted Mike Vick. I, I threw him back. I, I decided not to go with Vic just because Calvin Johnson is so OP, and I already had a quarterback, but, man, I really thought about it. And then right there, we are going to take LaDainian Tomlinson as our running back. We did not have one. So we do go with the LT, the great one, as I call him. Uh, LaDainian Tomlinson, definitely, like I said in the previous Draft Champions video, where we also had Tomlinson, one of my favorite players of all time. So we got some really great players, I think. Tomlinson, we got Philip Rivers at quarterback. We got Calvin Johnson out wide. We've got Adamakong Sue and Marcel Darius in the middle. A decent offensive line, at least at the tackle positions. So we've kind of got a good base for our offense and for our defense, to be honest with you. It's going to be a little thin at cornerback, I think, from time to time. We don't really have any sort of a superstar there or anything like that. So hopefully we can at least shut down the aggressive catching to some extent. Now, opening kickoff on Draft Champions. And look at this. We get a big kick return here. We do decide to spin out of bounds. I actually wanted to spin that in, but he decided to go out. Uh, so it is a great kick return there to start things off here. And then we're going to hit Jordan Cameron going over the middle here on the first play. And then it's time to hit him with the quick toss. The quick toss, one of the most deadly plays in this game. Look at the blocking down the field. Mockreef knocking somebody down. LT taking off to the end zone. Four hit touchdown. His very first score of this draft champion series. Big play there by Ladanian Tomlinson with a big touchdown. We do go up seven to nothing here on the first drive. Now my opponent's got the ball and he's going to throw deep on the first play. And uh, yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo hits us deep for a big, huge gain there, and he is already in scoring position. Very, very frustrating. One play is all it took. The aggressive catching is just so OP. Our defensive line there stood strong, but he was able to slide by LaShawn McCoy with the spin move. Does pick up the first down. 
and then a little, a little short pass here in the flats to a wide receiver. Not really a big game there. We do lay the smack down on him too. Sets up a second and five here, and I'm trying to shut down the short passing game. That's really what the goal is here. Trying to make him to make a bad decision here, and he's going to take off here with Garoppolo. Look at him scrambling on the sidelines. Picks up the first down. Now, he's going to go with the quick toss here, but we are able to blow it up there in the backfield. Huge play there by the cornerback. I believe that was the same guy who gave up that big catch earlier, so he makes a massive play. Trying to bait him in here to throw to the tight end, but... He doesn't go to the tight end. He decides to go into the end zone, and that one gets intercepted as well to Sean Gibson with a big play there. And then we're going to hit Calvin Johnson here. We've got the ball at the one-yard line there because he ran out of the back of the end zone, or not the back of the end zone, but he got tackled, went down at the one-yard line. So we had to throw it short there to Calvin. Nice pick up there on another toss there to LaDainian Tomlinson, and then we're back to Calvin Johnson for an eight-yard gain. That pass is extremely effective for me, very, very effective. And look at Phillip Rivers just dissecting the defense, taking what they give him, picking up another first down, and then on this play, he is going to take off here, going to the right side. Look at this, nobody there, and we're easily able to pick up about seven or eight there. Sets up a second and two, and we're back to the quick toss with LaDainian Tomlinson. Nearly sprung that thing for a big gain, but he does pick up the first down. He just has no answer for that quick toss right now and we're just setting it up over and over again going deep here to calvin johnson oh and megatron is unable to hold on unfortunately but we're back to the passing game here and this time it is bryce butler left wide open there on that crazy route that just seems to get open against every man coverage bryce butler the brand new dallas cowboy they traded for him this week in real life not in madden and that was a pretty nice play by him so very very happy to have him on the cowboys hopefully he can do some of that this week for my cowboys that would be amazing i don't know if he's actually gonna play but we'll see Second and 10 here for my opponent now as he tries to tie up the game here and he's just pretty much looking to throw it deep here with about 30 seconds left in the half. We knock it away and then we get the interception here. Arenas is going to pick it up and he is going to take it back to about the 37 yard line or so. That's when my opponent press pause and he is going to give us the first oh, rage quit victory of this draft champion series. So looking pretty darn good here at 1-0. and Not too bad. Pretty effective on offense, pretty effective on defense, didn't allow him to score whatsoever. Passed the ball relatively effectively. The running game was on fleek, ladies and gentlemen. LaDainian Tomlinson is just an absolute freaking beast. Absolutely love using that card. Probably my favorite card that I've used in Draft Champions, offensively at least, to be completely honest with you. I know a lot of people love those receivers that can go up and get those aggressive catches. And I love Calvin Johnson. I love him more as much as the next guy. But man, Tomlinson, look oh, at this beast. Baby. The spin move. Off to the races in the second game. But take a look at who pulls him down from behind. On the first play of the game, neither guy was winded at all both guys had full stamina and jason taylor pulled him down from behind that is a defensive end about 35 yards down the field or so picking up the tackle there on tomlinson absolutely ridiculous i jason taylor is a monster i haven't really had a chance at him yet so i have not used him but that play that he made there was worth the worth the price of admission on a jason taylor i'll tell you that much so all right first drive though we do get into the end zone with ladanian tomlinson running the football very effectively once again in this one my opponent's got frank gore and he actually has a legitimate quarterback here but man he is going to take a hit there very big play by Kong sue and we get the sack sue coming up to play i told you guys that I wanted to get two good defensive tackles just to make sure that we have an opportunity to get a decent pass rush here. And we are going to get the ball back here after my opponent decided to punt. LaDainian Tomlinson now driving down the field. Once again, that quick toss is very, very difficult to stop. We find a receiver here going over the middle. It's Calvin Johnson. And look at him go. The spin move. Megatron is off to the races for the touchdown. Another big play, man, as he kicks over the pylon in celebration. I don't know what he was doing there, but hey, we'll take it. My opponent decided to run engage eight there. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> that's how he wanted to try and stop the quick toss, I guess. He thought that that's the only thing that I was going to run. But we've got kind of similar looks that we have different plays, and all the plays are very, very effective out of this strong close. Definitely my play favorite playbook to use. And yes, I will have an opportunity at some point to uh, you know improve my skills and not just run out of the same formation. But for now, I want to get comfortable running at least something so that I can at least have a base of my offense, and then we can get back to you know spreading it out and you know doing some different things on offense. But right now, 
probably going to run a lot of strong close until I uh, until I see some, some people really being able to shut it down on a regular basis, and then we'll try and mix in some other things as well. Just trying to get used to the new Madden, you know, and, and I, I haven't had as much of an opportunity as other people do to actually play this game, to be completely honest with you, as we get a sack here. We did get an interception, by the way, to get this drive. I didn't really mention that, but uh, the computer came up with a nice pick, I can't lie. And then we are going to hit up Calvin Johnson here after taking that sack. Megatron into the end zone once again. He is just an absolute animal. I love using Calvin Johnson, as you can probably imagine. My opponent's going to throw this one up here. Not in my house. <laughs> And that was the end of the first half. So my opponent does get the ball coming out of the second half. And look at this. We get a sack on the first play. It's Khalil Mack taking him down in the backfield. Mack is just beasting in this game. Our defense is really coming to show up in this series. Frankly, we haven't allowed any points yet, which is pretty darn impressive. 21 to nothing in this one on third and nine. My opponent now going to throw it over the side there. And oh, man, we just had no one there. Walls in man-to-man -man coverage wasn't able to get there. Phillips takes him down from behind. My opponent now in scoring position here at about the 25-yard line. Came up huge there, but look at this. Indomitong Sue. if you go back and watch that play, he straight up took the center, who is an elite player, by the way, and threw him to the side and got a sack. That is block shed, ladies and gentlemen. Indomitong Sue just being a beast. And finally, though, my opponent is going to get into the end zone. Kind of a dot throw there on the previous play. A nice little pass, and he does get into the end zone. So Frank Gore ends the shutout here, but... We've got the ball here with about five minutes left or so in this contest. We just really need to run out the clock, and that's what we're going to try and do here. Back to LaDainian Tomlinson on the quick toss, picking up short yardage, but enough to keep the clock moving, and that's really what we're looking to do. Finding a receiver open here is Dante Moncrief. That pass is so very, very effective against the run. It's just, it, I don't know, it's not a straight out. It's It creates so much separation. And that's just so difficult to stop. LaDainia Tomlinson taken down again from behind here on third and two. 140 rushing yards, though, in this game. And, guys, we're pretty much trying to run out the clock. So we're not even trying to break it for a touchdown necessarily. But, man, he is having a monster game. End of the game here. Fourth down. Yes, I am going to go for it. Hey, don't blame me, man. I'm not trying to be a jerk. But at the same time, I'm trying to put up points. You know what I'm saying? I want it to look worse than it was. I don't like that he scored there at the end. That kind of frustrated me. But we are going to walk away with the victory here. Two wins, zero losses. We're moving on to the third game, and then we've got an opportunity then, if we win that one, to have a chance at the draft championship title. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.